Testing, testing, audio check one, two, audio check one, two. Welcome, everybody. Audio check. Good You're... morning. Good morning. Hello, hello. Making sure we're coming through loud and clear. This Before... is a quick check of the audio. Let's make sure that both mics sound about the same. Strat, hit me with a check something. Check one, check one. Hello, good morning. Ryan Strat is here alongside Chris DeGangi getting ready for our third qualifier here at Stanford Ninja Academy. It's going to be a tough course out there for everyone. Got around 75, 76 athletes, I believe. Large crowd here in Connecticut. I am excited. We're going live on the Instagram as well. We're live everywhere. We're going live. We're doing it live. We're going live. We're being live. We're, we're going everywhere. <laughs> we're, we're out here live. Doing a quick audio check here in the back. Hope everybody is going to tune in to this Ninja Sport Championship event. So, Strat, we're going to take a break. All right. Sounds like the audio is coming through pretty clear. Let's Sweet. do a quick cut. Love it. Love it. Sneak peek at one of our new obstacles. Love it. Mr. All Paulson. right. You'll see more soon, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Check you in a bit.
Hey, everybody, and welcome to Ninja Sport Championship Qualifier number three. We're here at Stanford Ninja Academy. I'm Chris Ganji, joined alongside Ryan Stratus. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be back here at Stanford, Connecticut. This is an awesome facility here. We got Will out there as the course designer, Ethan Swanson, talking to our first runner. We're going to be getting started here very shortly. They're just getting a test right now of the audio of uh, the uh, buzzers and whatnot out there, but things are going to be pretty exciting here in just a bit. Man. Yeah, it should be a really fun course. Uh, we were up until about 4 a.m. setting the course, but I'm really excited Ooh. to see what uh, these athletes are going to do on this course. And let's take a quick look at the open round scoring. So if you've never seen this before, folks, here's a breakdown of the rules for the open round. Total number of obstacles completed. They're going to get one point each. Least number of total fails and the time to complete that last obstacle. It's what's going to determine who those top 10 athletes are in order to move on into the final rounds. Yeah, so that's going to decide it. And then here's a look at the open course rules. Time limit, three minutes. Top 10 men and women will move on to finals. Retry system, so athletes will get three attempts per obstacle. If an obstacle is failed, they will reset back to the starting platform, and you must clear that obstacle in order to move on. Yeah, the retry system, we've seen some pretty cool comebacks uh, from people that have made early mistakes but still able to salvage their runs and move on. But we're going to see a tough course out there today. We'll see how it goes for all these athletes. First up is going to be Jeremy Waters. And here we go, Jamie running across those steps. First things first, no problem on right out of the gate. Oh, we're going to have to rotate around for a couple of laches here on the wingnut lane. Trying to get position. There it is. You got a couple of different swinging obstacles here. You got wing nuts. You got the got the rings. And looking for a quick lache there to dismount. Now this side angle drum hop they got a oh, just gonna go for a leap that's a big beta break right there. gonna eliminate a lot of a lot of finesse you need and here's a big lache out to a rope Coming yeah, up that that's slider a, that's an early beta break right there jammy doing really good right now gonna have to reset on this agility though here's a first look at our retry system they've got 10 seconds can't go until mr swanson gives them that go ahead Quick feet here. Nice job, Jeremy. He's got three minute time limit. I think it's a big pulls here. Working his way through the spines. Trying to get to a good position for the dismount. Nicely done. Three more obstacles to go. He's got a long series of cliffhangers here he's got to traverse. Yeah, and you can see how tiny those cliffhanger ledges are. They're going to have to do some 360 moves here. 180 moves, I guess. Oh, Half nice. Turns. Really smooth there. Yeah, when you don't have a lot of room for those hands, you got to improvise. Still needs to get a little further through. Nice under catch to the dismount. That bar is in play. We'll transition over. Jeremy's coming out of the Warrior Factory in Syracuse. He's been parkour and free running since he was 14, but focusing on Ninja these last couple of years here. And here's our first look at the Wholesome Folsom. Oh! <laughs> Catching it barely on the edge there. Oh, good save. You can see there's a little bit of a lip. And reposition here. Just under a minute to go. He's got a re-catch. Not going to get on that first one. Going to have to reset and try again. So he, that is a different kind of ring, almost like handcuffs. You've got to be able to latch it into place. Pushing upwards. Get that power, not quite enough lift on that one. He's got one more chance. Jamie looking for the last move here. 15 seconds. Going for a big send. Ah, uh, not quite able to get to the top. And that's going to do it for Jeremy Run, the hip-hop ninja. 
So we'll show this a couple times throughout the day, but here is our new obstacle designed by Sam Folsom. There's a gate on the ring and it is spring loaded. So when you go to push it through the bar, it's gonna open up and then close shut. It's really, really interesting design here by uh, Mr. Sam Folsom. Yeah, almost like a flying bear trap. And Anthony Erdley going to be up next. Anthony Erdley, 31 years old, coming out of Maximum Effort Training Studio. He's a welder, metal worker, poetry and cooking. He's been on American Ninja Warrior four times. Got to Las Vegas Finals. And he's been tearing it up on the courses in between the seasons. Always an exciting one to watch. Said he's got a really good Donald Duck impersonation. Oh, we're going to have to. It is fun fact, I know. And it's we're going to have to hear that at some point. No uh, no Donald Duck from this guy. We got uh, Mickey Mouse maybe, but no Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had really good last week, really good Mario and Luigi Mario, yeah. So, yeah. I'm working you know. my impersonations here. And Anthony on the move going across those steps. Starting things off and getting some swings going. And blinking through, skipping through what he can. Sweet, swinging through here, looking for it, that dismount now. Let's see if he decides to take the big skip. Big leap! Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, that's... Just go ahead and just get rid of that risk of the balance. Good catch, a little slip there with the hands on that rope, but maintains his grip. Fast footwork just on one side of the agility. Great job, Anthony. Good pace thus far. You can see him shaking out, controlling his breathing. Very methodical pace here. Just to save some of that explosiveness for the tail end of this course. No mistakes as of yet. Looking for that dismount. Nicely done. Athletes have a few chalk spots on the course provided by the Bucket of Chalk. Let's see his technique here on the Spinaroonie cliffhanger. Going for those turns. A lot more variations in cliffhanger uh, styles as of today. Oh, nice bump over there, deciding not to twist, so he's in a good position for the sideways throw. But not oh. enough reach for the crossover. Just have to wait a few seconds. Give it another try. Shaking out a little bit more. Leaning out from the box to try to get into a good position. See what he decides to do here. Going for that twist around again. Not forgiving, going for that twist on the wrist so he can bump over one more time. Got to get that underhand catch, one, two. Hold it, get to that bar. Good fight. Nice job, Anthony. So, got about, he's going to have just around 30 seconds. We'll chalk up one more time and see if he can get through this new contraption from Mr. Folsom. No official name that I know of quite yet, but I'm calling it the Wholesome Folsom. <laughs> we'll see what other uh, <laughs> names pop up throughout the day. Yeah, I don't Dicks. believe Sam submitted. Oh, what a skip. Big skip. Fist bump from the Swan. Knows he's just out of time, but that was an exciting run from Mr. Anthony. Yeah, I mean, let's see if we can go Tough back and move. take a look here. I really knew he had... Short time remaining, so tried to go for a big send there. At the oh. end, had it just a little shy. Akshar is going to be up next. Akshar Papu getting ready to go. One of our younger athletes, 13 years old. But he's got a well-established ninja accomplishments already. Multiple championships and top places for NNL's WNL right now. We'll see how these younger athletes fare on the course. Typically they do really well. 
He was one to watch on the course. Nice linkage all the way through. Staticking what she can and just smooth all the way through those laches. Going to have to incorporate the balance here. Good little tic-tac. Ooh, not quite able to get a push off of the off of the bouncing platform there. Going to have to really treat that side angle like a trampoline. Have that drum send you forwards. Yeah, you want to make sure you, you, you put enough weight into it. Really yeah. tricky obstacle here. Go down on this one early on in the chorus. Three is all they get. If they run out of their tries, that's going to be her run. Big bounce, one-handed save, and completes it on her third and final attempt. Great job. Now she's got to take the slider down. It's going to be a big swing to the rope, holding on tight, and she is making up for some lost time. Akshara, impressive stuff. Quick feet here. One, two, three. Almost shaking it out. I have to calm it down just a little bit. Hard part with these agility obstacles. One, two, three. No, got just a little shy of the full clear there. Third and final attempt. And not quite able to get there. You can see how easy those dominoes fall. And an early exit for Akshara. Tough to see. Wait for the scoreboard to be reset for our next athlete. Uh, Joe Maxwell. Joe coming out of maximum effort, training studio. Yorkville, New York's where he's out of. Excited to be here. I was talking to him earlier. He is uh, mid-30s, representing us, uh, I guess, elderly ninjas as it is now compared to the younger crowd that's been uh, destroying these courses as of late. So he's out here having a good time. Let's see how he does, Mr. Maxwell. way across first obstacle no issues start these swings monkey bar what you can really want to try to save some of that explosiveness for later but those three minutes go quick here comes this drum drum jump Ooh, nice job able to really fully uh, commit to the pressure there Hold on tight for that swing through. Nice work, Joe. And quick feet across. One step is all he needs. Nice power out of Joe through those agility steps. Also, coaches out of the gym like seeing everyone succeed, pushing their limits. He's really passionate about the sport. Smooth work so far. Qualified for the finals. And all the different leagues out there. WNL, FINA, and UNAA. Trying to qualify for the finals here. Get some good spins. Let's eye on this other side of the cliffhanger. Quick turnaround. Nice little pivot. So far, so good. And here we go at Wholesome Folsom. He's got some breathing room here. He's got about a minute 20 to go. Checking his time real quick. He's got a couple spots that he can look at for a general time. Mr. Swanson's got the official clock on the floor. Let's see what he decides to do here. Ooh, going for a big reach up and needs to have it on the on the open portion of that apparatus. Kind of like handcuffs. Got to make sure it links in. Big up pull here. Going for a big skip. 
No. He'll have time for one more attempt. Coming up on 30 seconds. Going to final move. Gets a twist at the hips. Big swing going for the skip. And I think that might be the move later on in the day. Joe Maxwell, quick to that point. I think that's going to be a ninja, a ninja dream crusher. We'll see. Graham Ogden getting ready to go. It's our fifth runner. And here we go, Graham, coming out of the next level. 13 years old. And on his way, trains with his younger brother, Reed. And swinging his way through. Second obstacle right now. Like exploring out in nature and learning about geography. Big push off, but I think he tapped down. He's going to have to reset. Got to really commit to sinking in to that drum. Good job. Getting through the bongo. And here comes the slider. Just a little shy on the reach. So the trick for these longer slides, you have to kind of make sure it is... Pull it up and just wait just right on that release. There it is. Good timing on your second attempt, Mr. Graham. Ooh, tried going for all three steps. Seen a couple different variations, but those lily pads, the first and last one, do tip quite easily. Wait for that timer to go down. One, two. Not going to get it that time. One final attempt here. Last attempt as he changes game of plan. Oh, no, he does not change anything, but makes it work. His third and final attempt. Going to move on to the spine climb. Picking up the pace a little bit. Knows he's got some, some room he's got to make up. Moving on now for the rotating cliffs. Oh, going for a standard style of traversal to side to side. He's got room for his hands to get through. Then no need to spin around. Excellent throw across. Great transition out of there. No problem on the upper body obstacle. Got about 50 seconds remaining on the wholesome Folsom. Let's see what he decides to do here. Does he go to the up bar or the big skip across? Trying to go for the big throw. Yeah, everybody really going for that big throw here, Strat. Well, you got to wonder if everybody's they're getting a feel for how it clicks in on that first one. They got such a big throw going into that into that skip. It's going to be tough to catch it again because they have so much momentum going forwards. Third and final attempt. Might have two seconds to give it a go here. May as well get some experience. One more toss. Oh, watch oh. out! But there it is. It's just a huge drop after you catch Graham, the first one to really get the ring to latch onto that skip. Not able to hold on with that momentum. Yeah, nice let's go back Graham. and look at that last try here. It looked like, I mean, he had the ring in, just could not hold it. And I think, Strat, that's going to be the issue with trying to make that big move is it's going to be really tough to hold on. Yeah, when you have that much swing built up with such a new contraption, it's it's a, it's a new kind of catch because you have to be able to latch it and brace for impact. <laughs> All right, coming up now is going to be Daniel Woods out of the Vitality Obstacle Fitness. 13 years old. Been training Ninja since he was four years old. Go, Daniel. 
middle of winter is when he started <laughs> training in the freezing cold outside. So the elements, no issues for Mr. Daniel. I swing through these. Trains alongside his brother Paul. On oh, now to the bongo bounce. Nice job making it through. Into the slider. Time that Lachey up. Okay, this one's going to be tough to salvage here. He's going to try to save it. Oh, grip just not quite enough when you're fully outstretched like that. Reset team getting into position here. Trying to make sure that bar is in place. Here we go try number two. Locks in the timing that time. Daniel on now for the agility. Tipping steps here. One, two, three. Going to skip across that last tipping step. Nice job. Yeah, nicely done there. So he really enjoys these kind of courses, the hybrid style courses that test a variety of skill sets. Going to have to take a big pull here. Nice job. Yeah, it's a really big move. Takes a lot of energy to generate that pull. Way down, not too bad. Well, he's experienced in competitions. Won the National Ninja League back in 2018. Now the World Ninja League. Was uh, Got onto the podium. Third place in AW Junior Season 2. Back in 2019. So he's got some experience. Well, you can see how small these cliffhanger holds are. Deciding to match, that's really impressive. Yeah, some of these athletes with the, you know, better grip, smaller hands, going for that reverse throw. Nice job. Yeah, that was smart, Strat. Yeah, having the uh, reverse grip into a sideways lache just shows how, how much you have to adapt on the fly. Grab some of that bucket of chalk. Great bucket oh. of chalk chalk. The chalk chalk. Our official chalk sponsor. <laughs> well, here's a good look at it. Oh, needs a you can see a little more height. Okay, there it is. Let's see what he decides to do here. Going up or out? Going. It looks like he's going to go up. No, oh, he's going out. Ooh, big throw. We'll reset and try again. Nope, he can't. He's going to have to reset. That's all right. Now he can go. So with that reset time, if they don't fully engage, then it's okay, but just a little shy again for that big toss across. Daniel Woods, great attempt. And ladies and gentlemen, if you see it along at the bottom of your screen, you can see a leaderboard as those runners start to get further into the course. You'll see the names pop up in the bottom portion of the screen. In the bottom right, you can see runner along with the time, total number of fails, and which obstacle they're currently on. Mia Sweeney getting ready to go. Coming out of TA Fitness. And yeah, been training alongside Lucas Rally, our coach. Making her way through obstacle number one onto the swinging lane. A four time finalist at the World Ninja League competitions. No easy feat. Come on, Mia. Getting these swings going here. When she's not training ninja, she's into cross country and track and field. Let's go, Mia. It's always good. Does it say what events that she does in track? Did she give you those? Oh, no, uh, no. I know you're looking for more pole vaulters yeah, and he's to add to the list. <laughs> Here we got one or two pole vaulters competing today. All right, Mia's going to attempt this bongo bounce. Here's a look at it. It's a run, jump, big launch. Oh. Yeah, you really have to eye that first step on the bongo and then look up to where you're going. It's almost like a sideways trampoline. Trying again. Oh, what a grab. Gets the clear, nice save. Here we go now on the slider. There's a different look at the ride down. Hold on tight. The transition to the rope. 
Uh, got the distance. Just wants to try to have a little bend in the arms for the catch. That drop, pretty jarring. At that distance, you want to make sure you got a little, little room to breathe at that catch. Try number two. Oh, she just needs a little bit more here, Strat. Yeah, needs a little more height. Now let's see how much rest he decides to take. Wants to get a little more, a little more energy back in those hands. But here we go, third and final attempt. Time that throw. Big throw. Oh. Uh, just a little shy. Tough break for Mia. Yeah, it's a good effort. Let's see if we can go back to this save though here, Strat. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at this big jump right here. Oh, the oh, one hand. Nice <laughs> save. Good commitment there, not letting go. Looked back for a brief second, but felt her other hand maintain that grip. Coming up now is going to be Ramses Valdez. He's looking for, always looking for new obstacles to take on. Bit of an adrenaline junkie. Enjoys the challenge and the rush. Started training this kind of stuff at a young age. Native to the New York area. Really enjoys just all types of athletics. And Ninja Warrior felt right at home. Let's see how Mr. Valdez performs on this tricky course. Oh, he's not even opting for the dismount there. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it because it allows you to pull back on that wing nut and, act and start your swing. Yeah, we've got these platforms can be engaged. Sometimes you just got to go past them. Doesn't have to be fully engaged or whatnot. Here we go for the bongo bounce. Let's see if he can get a good push off that platform and right away, nice work. And throws coming off of the slider. Good catch on the rope. Nice, made it look pretty casual there. Taking a second here to eye up this. Step across, one, two, three. I think we bottomed out before getting all the way onto that platform. We can see the tough part about these steps is that the tops move on you, so they, they will dip. Ooh. Nice work. Great, great adjustment there. Ops not even use, <laughs> to use the last step there. It's like, I just want to get off this thing. Starting this climb on the spine here. Said he really hopes to lead and inspire the next generation of athletes in this sport. Well, he's got a lot, you know, a lot of youth that's really starting to get into this sport. So always looking for positive role models. Mr. Valdez looking to be one of those. There we go. I like this technique. The 180 turns makes it a little quicker as opposed to matching on each one. Good oh, stretch. Oh, good, good crossover as well. And that red pillar is in play. Opting to go on. I think he's just a little confused about where the dismount's at, and uh, that's all right. Gets through. Takes a couple extra <laughs> cliffhangers just for the uh, just for the challenge. There's another good look at our... There's a great look at the Folsom ring here. You can see there's a gate on top. There's a latch that is spring-loaded. So they have to push the ring through the bar, and then it will close. Extremely impressive. Here we go. He's going to have just around 30 seconds to get this in one try. 10-second reset timer really eats away at any second attempts here. Big toss! Oh. Uh, it's a big toss. I think I know what he was going for, trying to hit the ring on a higher position so it would just drop down into that cradle. So he kind of eliminates that risk of potentially having too much momentum and popping right off on that forward swing. Final attempt here. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he was close. Not, not quite there, and that's going to do it for his time. Let's take a quick word from our sponsors. Ninja Sport Championship is brought to you by Role Model Software. They craft custom software tailored to fit your business needs, and they're also the makers of Ninja Master and Lightning CAD. 
Silent Ninja, check out their website for exclusive ninja holes and ninja training equipment. Salibra Family Restaurants, supporters of the Ronald McDonald House, helping families and children in need, consider donating today. Biagi Bros, a full-service logistics company with 3PL and supply chain solutions with warehouses and truck terminals scattered across the U.S. League of Ninja Warriors, check out their website for exclusive ninja collectibles. Ocean Needs Everyone, the nonprofit organization dedicated to helping save our oceans. And Bucket of Chalk, our official chalk sponsor. Reach into the bucket and grab some chalk today. Back down to the course. Kenzie Roy Peterson. Really putting our nameplate on the clock to the test here with that long name. And here we go, getting the countdown. Again, another athlete opting not to drop down to the landing platform, going straight into the wing nut. He looks confident here on the wing nut alley. Let's see if we see another big skip. He looks like he's lining up for it. No, he's going for it. Ah, he just made that look so casual. Oh, this is going to be so hard to save here. As he, as he was coming down the track, I think he just got his hips out of alignment. Oh, man. Tough, tough move there. He's going to have to reset. Going on that Vitality Optical Fitness here. For try number two. Nice timing that time. Great arch. And rotate around. Big leap. I don't think he made it. Gonna have to reset one for a big skip. Ooh, is he okay? Press down onto it. Come on, let's go. Step, step, and big jump gets the thumbs up that time around. Start to see some. Yeah, skips. that might be a beta break there, Strat. I don't know. Rightfully so. <laughs> that is a scary obstacle. You see how you Would not take no for an answer. That's essentially what got him into doing ninja. It's known as Spidey Ninja. He's making his way around these spinning cliffs. Let's see what the tech is here for the transfer. Nice. Quick move. Yeah, pretty casual. And now he's got about a minute left, two obstacles to go. We have not seen anybody complete the wholesome Folsom just yet. Been consistent in all his performances at the World Ninja League, making it to the finals each time he's competed. So far, all the athletes are opting to go for this skip here where they're going from ring to ring. There is another option. <sighs> yeah, there, there is there is another option. They can actually go up. There's a bar up top rigged that they can lock the ring into. That's the way that the obstacle is designed. You can see it up at the top there. See that red tape? That's where they. you don't want them to go. The black part is where the obstacle is designed to go but all of these athletes opting for the big skip so far. Yeah, they get more pull power out of this, that hook, and he's <sighs> trying to do it in a natural ring-to-ring, -ring, sky hook style transfer. Going upwards to that bar will cause it to slide a little bit more, so, so maybe they're more comfortable with the bigger throws. Not quite able to get there. McKenzie, nice try. <sighs> that, that obstacle is... <laughs> Pretty brutal. Nothing strat. wholesome about that, I guess. <laughs> oh man. In terms of ingenuity, innovation, I absolutely love it. I think I think it's it's really smart design. We've seen a couple of those types of obstacles um, in terms of you know the bear trap and some other things, but we're gonna take a quick commercial break, and then we will be we will be right back. Here at Role Model Soccer, we value our partnerships with our clients. Listen as Dr. Eric Freeman talks about our partnership with Cultivate Leadership Institute. CLI was trying to find which software company we were partnering with. We talked with a number of different ones. The thing that made Role Model stand out was the connection. So if you're trying to figure out 
how do I select the right company for us? You need to make sure that you don't just do that digitally. It's not just an email, it's not just a Zoom call. You need to make sure that you get face to face with these individuals to make sure that your mission and your vision align so that you're creating the product you want to create. And Role Model has the ability to do that. They're very personal, they care about your product, they care about you personally, and they want to help deliver the product that you need. If you're curious if Role Model can be the right fit to partner with you, reach out to us today. Have you ever experienced extremely sweaty hands, not knowing where to step on agility, being unlucky on special delivery, or being absolute trash at double? Then Bucket Chalk Chalk is the right chalk for you. Side effects may include extremely grippy hands, even after washing them. Always know where to step on agility. Adds a bit of extra luck on special deliveries, and it tastes like success. Ferrari Wilson and I am the founder of the Ocean Conservation Organization Ocean Needs Everyone and we are proud to be a sponsor for Ninja Sport Championship Season 2. I'm here to tell you today about three reasons why you should help the ocean. One, there's so much left to discover in the ocean, 91% of marine species are still undiscovered. Two, if we don't help soon, there's a projection that by 2050 there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. Three, without the ocean, we wouldn't even be here right now because it gives us 65% of our oxygen. So even if you don't live near an ocean, go out and pick up some trash because it will make a difference. And one final bonus reason why you should save the ocean is because it's nice and refreshing. At Roll One, we believe software development should be learned and engineering. Our craftsmanship academy towards for apprentices to participate in hands-on immersion that leads to long-term all of this under the supervision of experienced software partners. Most of the academy we spend just in a room working with other people that are also struggling to figure out the same things. And it's, it's actually much faster that way because they figure things out when you don't know them and you help them figure the things out that you figure it out. One of the phases of the academy is a shadowing phase where you get to work under a mentor and take all of the practical skills you're learning and apply them directly to your real life. Working in the academy taught me to write business-ready software in a way that I could take my experiences and translate them to the real world. And I could see the results. And I could see people using the software and the utility and the value that it provides. If the Craftsmanship Academy sounds like a fit, I encourage you to reach out. long-term partner, Safe, designs and manufactures fall safety protection systems. Over the years, they keep investing in their software because of the incredible return on their investment. I've seen their quote times going from four hours to just about 30 minutes. That's an 80% time. The design software that Role Model created for Safe automates their design process to produce instant estimates, 3D visualization, parts list breakdowns, and more. Once finalized, your system automatically sends the design to the factory, reducing production lead time by three to four days. Are you curious to see what a custom software solution can do for your business? Schedule a free consultation today. We'd love to talk. All right, and getting things back down to the course. Let's take a quick look at our run order pre presented by Silent Ninja. Here's a quick look at where we stand so far. Mackenzie just ran. So we're on runner number 10. Luke, 
about to take on starting line. Here is a look at the runner. You can see on the right-hand side, Joe Capo will be coming up later on today. Jess Wombles, Kevin Carbone, Lucas Real. We saw Lucas compete in Austin. And folks, if you're looking for this runner, it's going to be listed in the YouTube description as well. You can drop down to that YouTube description. Run order should be listed there for you. You can see who is coming up next. We're just getting some more clarifications out there on the course. Make sure everything's going to be good to go here in just a bit. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us. If you're in the YouTube, writing us some comments. Appreciate y'all being here. And if you're watching this after the fact, appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. All right, appreciate y'all with us on an early Saturday morning. Got a lot of athletes to go. But all right, back to the action. We've got another runner ready to go on the starting line. I believe right. this is going to be Luke Lowell. Luke rocking the Kid Boo shirt. Got the manga outline on the background as well I always appreciate a good DBZ t-shirt here we go Luke coming out of Shelter Island New York thinks ninja's very cool and great and enjoys putting in the work and training hard and if he's a big fan of Dragon Ball Z then you know he loves training Swinging his way through the Lachey lane. Trains alongside Mr. Bellion, Michael Bellion, that is. Michael Bellion, who we'll see compete later on today. He'll be in wave two. Nice Luke trying to dial in these throws here. Taking some extra swings for safety, but gets on out of there. See his footwork here on the bongo bounce. He does like to skateboard outside of Ninja. Oh, just a little shy on the leap across. Trying to skip past the bounce. Only a big push off that start platform. Goes for try number two. Oh, he, oh, he a stumbled a little bit there on the starting platform, but... I was able to salvage it. Here comes the slide down for the rope grab. Ooh, just a little shy. He's going to have to reset. Tricky thing with that slider, you can see a lot of the athletes start to arch their back around the middle portion of the track. That'll help get that momentum built up as they hit. Ooh, does he hold? Bottomed out. He's going to have to try one more time. Third and final attempt here. Loses his hat. And not quite able to hold on for that big toss to uh, the rope. Nice try, Luke. Allison on the course, ready to go. Allison trains here at Stanford Ninja. Started training at Hamden Ninja Academy. He's been here ever since. Swinging through. 16 years old, and this is their pole vaulter. Right yeah, here, Mr. Dick Ganji. 
competing at a national level and two-time Shoreline champion. Wow, that's amazing. All-American in track and competes D1 in college. Pole vaulting is definitely a sport that translates well to ninja. you got to have a lot of body awareness. you got to have a lot of upper body strength in order to bend that pole. And it's, really, it's just fun flying through the air. Yeah, I've seen some clips on Instagram now. They're starting to pop up on my feet. Oh, no, she loses her grip at the end there. Going to have to reset. Yeah, I saw one pole vaulting video of a guy doing a warm-up run, twisting up and over the bar into a uh, backflip for a dismount. <laughs> More style points than anything. Here we go, Allison. Try number two on the Lachey lane. He's got Joe as a coach here at Stanford. Trying to hold on tight here. Those ledges aren't that forgiving. And then this flywheel here that she's about to go to, there's no there's no lip on it. And what that means is the, the, the thing she's holding is flat. And so it makes it really tricky. Mm. It's almost like hanging onto a cliffhanger. Yeah, without the end cuts there for the hands, no ledges. If you're a rock climber, they, they call those kind of like end cuts, those jugs, jug holds are a little easier on the hands. On a flat surface like that, swinging, especially when you drop down to it, it's a little more challenging. Allison is going to have one more attempt here. Third and final attempt. All these extra swings start to add up. And not quite going to get there. That's all right. Nice try, Allison. Keep up the good work in the pole, to, uh, pole vaulting. Maybe we'll see her at later ninja competitions. All right, coming up next, Colton. Colton Supa. Coming out of the Steel City Ninja location. Got about five years of ninja experience. Likes making pancakes. More of a... Who doesn't? I'm more of a Waffle House guy. <laughs> Anybody who follows my Instagram knows I'm at Waffle House almost every week, but Mr. Colton. Be ready for some flapjacks after this. Making his way through the steps. Well, hopefully there's no pancakes on this course. No. <laughs> nice slinks all the way through. Looking for the bounce off. The bongo. Good commitment there. Doesn't even come close to bottoming out. And right away onto the slider, kipping back and gets a good arch. Making his way through. Looking for the quick steps here. One, two, three on down one side. Skipping at last lily pad. Colton looking smooth thus far. Colton Super going Super Saiyan out there. Swinging his way through a sub-minute to this point. I believe this might be one of our faster paces. Spinning his way around. Yeah, you can see he's going to be, a few, oh, he's gonna be about 30 seconds-ish past the fastest time through the cliffhangers here. Oh, yeah. Puts him into first place. Excellent job, yeah. Incredible pace. It's going to give him a lot of breathing time and some time to figure this out. The wholesome Folsom. Yeah, he's going to get three good shots at this. Hopefully only needs one. Oh, he's going up. Big throw, clipping it in and latches on with the drop down and going for the dismount. Gets oh, it in boy. one. Excellent work. Knew he had the power in there. He just was able to accomplish a quint skip on a salmon liner. That's five rungs up. And no problem on the salmon slider. Kind of go out and around those holds. And now he's got to make it to the dismount here. Pipe slider finish. Our first clear, Colton Supa. Impressive job at one minute, 50 seconds. No errors whatsoever. Yeah, no mistakes. That's absolutely huge on a course like this. A few places to get tripped up, especially on the balance. Zero fails, good time. He has really positioned himself well 
for a top 10 spot. Yeah, that's going to put the pressure on the rest of the field. They'll know what they have to try to beat in order to work their way into that top 10. Kevin Halper on the course right now. Trains out of the Empire location. And he is on the move. Really enjoy his speed courses. See if we can get there. Got to get into those final rounds in order to face those different courses throughout the day. Just finished his bachelor's degree in exercise science and trying to become a physical education teacher. Nice cliches through. Well, big props to anyone wanting to work in the education field nowadays. Definitely a challenging field to be a part of. And big skip there. Going to jump on straight to DGS hold. Sliding on down, looking for that rope grab. Ooh, just a little shy. He's going to have to reset. Kevin, a little taller athlete, 6'1". He's going to have to watch those feet as he grabs onto that rope, keep those legs up. Skipping on down, that's the only problem with some of the taller athletes. they got to be a little more mindful. Ooh, and the extra weight on that tipping step is going to be a little more challenging. Let's see if he can dial it in, though. Try number two. Skipping across and gets the thumbs up. Great job, Kevin. Excellent adjustment. Here comes the spine climb going his way up now for these reaches. And a longer wingspan makes these moves a little easier. But the heavier the athlete is, it's going to be a little more taxing on that upper body. So that's the payoff. That's the trade-off there for these type of, these type of obstacles. Kevin's got three obstacles to go. Got a minute and change to do so. Let's try number two. Currently in ninth place, wants to, wants to get a little further. Just under 30 seconds remain. See if he can get this underhand grab transition. Does he do any changes? Swinging his momentum. Not quite able to get the double-handed grab. It's going to have less than 10 seconds to try to burn through this. Oh, you can see those pinkies popping off those smaller holds. Not much room for the grip, and the time is just going to tick away. Kevin Halper, nice try. It's going to do it for his run. Yeah, that's going to be time there. <laughs> All right, Luke Powell stepping up to the platform. Luke's 18 years old. Coming out of Middleborough, Massachusetts. Trains at Vitality Obstacle Fitness, making his way quickly through that first obstacle. Come on, Luke. Big swings through. Going to try to link what he can. And quick dismount on out of there. Lining up for the bongo bounce. Good commitment and moving forwards. Landed past the dismount platform, so got the clear there. Yep, didn't engage the obstacle. Nice. There it is, and now he's moving on for the quick feet in. Wow, gets it on the way down, able to crumple over onto the platform for the clear. Those off angle dominoes. Quick climb up the spine. He's got a two time New England Ninja Association youth champion. Youth team champion, three-time NNL finalist, WNL finalist. I know that in the bios they keep listening to that NNL. <laughs> Still adjusting to the name change, but Luke on to the cliffhanger now. Come on, 
And not quite able to get the transition. First fail is going to take a reset. Uh, grip just giving out a little bit here on these tiny ledges. Not much room for error. Take one more attempt here. He's got some breathing room here. He's going to try to relax just a bit more. Final attempt. Yeah, it's really difficult. There's not enough ah. room for two hands, so you have to bump out and then bump in. It's a lot of moves and not a lot to hold on to. Tough break for Luke. All right, up now is going to be Mackenzie Pavlik. Our fourth runner on the women's side of things. Trains out of the Hamden Ninja Academy. Was a gymnast for uh, 10 years. Got some experience, some air awareness and swinging and whatnot. Trying to swing her way through obstacle number two. Trains alongside Tom Alberti and Jay Lewis here. These Ninja Academies. Pretty good training partners, I would say. Kanzi lining up for the dismount. Great stuff. Currently in college at the University of New Haven for forensic science. Good jump there off the bongo bounce. Only got about a year's worth of ninja training, but really enjoys this sport and just a little shy on the transfer to that rope. Gonna have to dial in this throw. Yeah, I think the key to this obstacle is really attacking the trampoline, getting into that bar with a lot of speed. It's gonna be a little tough if she starts from here. I don't know if she's back. gonna have enough speed. Does wow! She hold? Did she bottom out on the grab? I think she bottomed out. Yep. Yeah, I think we had a foot tap there. So she's got the right idea. She's going from the trampolines okay as long as she arches on the way down right in the middle of the track. And not quite able to dial it in that time. But quick to that point, Mackenzie not quite able to figure out that slider. Yeah, I think the tough part is you want to come from, I think, the landing platform from the previous obstacle. You really want to have a lot of momentum coming into that bar because it's such a long slider that it's tough to get your body in the right position if you start from the trampoline. Yeah, knowing exactly where to get that kip going. Definitely one of the challenging aspects of that slider obstacle. see that rope not the longest either you don't have much room for your hands you get a little stopper there at the base to kind of prevent slipping down a little bit but not much room James Burns come out of the strive ninja fitness 20 years old trains alongside mr. Lucas rally big into rock climbing outside of ninja Getting some big swings here, linking his way through as best as he can. Nice work. Really efficient through the Lachey bars. And skip it across to Bongo Bounce. He's got some good experience at the World Ninja Leagues. Last three years he's been doing really well. He's actually the world's strongest ninja in the adult division back in 2021. Quickly through those steps. Putting those skills on display. Nice sideways moves here. I actually like that method. Kind of takes away some of that explosive power that you need going with that sideways tech. Quickly to this point. Just needs to get through that cliffhanger. Going to grab a little bit of that bucket of chalk chalk. See those rock climbing skills put on display. Yeah, it's a really great obstacle. Only enough room for one hand. On most of those holds, kind of forces the 180 move there. Let's see what we 
we've got here for Clasp. We'll test out test out the move here. Let's see if this has to go for the big toss across. Let's get that full clear. Going for the big skip. Needs to engage the clasp and not quite able to get it all the way through. It's going to have to push it forward and then pull back immediately to make sure it engages. Ready for that drop. Try number two. Nice Oh, catch. there we go. Gets the dismount, and now he's got about a minute for the... Ooh, Salmon Slider is going to have to take a second to reset. Well, it's just like doing a salmon ladder strat, except you have no backing. So if you go too far, it's not going to stay in there. Uh, it needs a little more power. Yeah, out and around, and then back in. Not quite something you practice often. Here's one. Here's two. Needs a little bit more for this one. Keep those corners in check. Watch those sides. Careful on the dismount. It's coming up on just a few seconds remaining. Really needs to get this clear here. Nice it, work. It's the buzzer to finish. Excellent job. Good fight there at the end for Mr. Burns. Three fails, but is able to get the clear. We'll see if that holds up. But now we have two clears. One clean, one with three fails. And Owen Mathers is going to be our next competitor. Ninja O from TA Fitness, TA Ninja Team. Here we go. Ninja O swinging his way through. In season seven of the WNL, he completed three obstacles with one hand because his other hand was casted up. And oh my gosh, you about oh. took that bar to the face. You I love see. that link there right to the flywheel. Ooh. I love that. The look on his face was pretty, pretty hilarious. A nice swing through. Kept his legs off to the side to prevent that bottoming out. And let's see. Oh, this is going to be hard to save. Oh, Awesome move there. Was able to ball up on the way back, try to get a little more height, but slowing down and not quite able to get there. Going to have to reset. That's all right. Take the reset. Making good time so far to this point. Don't let it frustrate you too much. Try number two. Oh, plenty of height that time. Really dialed it in. Let's see what he decides to do here for the lily pad. Tipping steps, one, two, and despite the tipping steps, just skipping on out. Great job, Owen. Working his way up the spine here. He's not training ninja stuff. Likes to tinker with electronics. Bit of a gamer. Playing video games and hiking in the woods with his doggo. No issues here on the spine. About a minute and a half to go. Trying to push the pace through this cliffhanger's route. And one hands it all the way across, just looking smooth through the cliffhanger. That bumps him up into fourth place currently. Test out the clasp. Those handcuff-like rings. We're going for a move across. Oh my gosh, went up to the top, and luckily that little ledge there Gave him some breathing room, but now he's got to be able to bounce out to that next hook. Tricky part of going up, it slides a lot, and it's going to be tough to get that momentum going forward. So let's see what he decides to do here for his second attempt. That was the intention of the obstacle. That's how the obstacle was designed, was to go up top like that. And not quite as much power required, but... Uh, not able to get it on the second attempt. He'll have just a few seconds. Third and final try. Here 
Here we go. And trying to build the swing up. Clicks it in. Oh. Not able to hold on. Grip just gave out there at the end. Owen Mathers. Nice try. Be sitting in fourth place for a little bit. See that tenth place position as a as the runners begin to fill up that leaderboard. Tenth is the hot seat, as they used to say back in the day. On A and W, get bumped out of that hot seat. That means you are no longer in that running for the final. Up now, we're going to have Justin Blizzard. Got hurricanes going on in Florida, but now there's a blizzard here in Connecticut, oh. I think. A little stumble that is, there. Yeah. Oh, he's got to wait. Got to reset. That is a clear on obstacle one. But falling into second obstacle is going to have to control yeah, those dismounts. He, he jumped early, so he does take a second fall there. Because he jumped early. Got to wait for the judge. Here to we give go. Give me the go ahead. Try to clean up the rest of his run here. Coming out of Vitality Obstacle Fitness. Swinging his way through. One more swing for safety. And he's out of the danger zone for now. Check the bongo bounce. Gets on through. One step, no issues, and into the slider. Ah, a little shy on the throw. Not here competing, doing ninja competitions into surfing, snowboarding, and freestyle scootering. I love their physical hobbies outside of ninja. Needs a little bit more on the toss across. Starting from the trampoline. Kipping, not quite able to hold on. Justin's going to... Take an exit after the slider. Nice try. All right, Daniela Blanchard getting ready to go. Trains Ninja as often as she can. Really enjoys uh, playing with a uh, Kendama. It's an awesome, awesome toy. That's like the <laughs> ball on a stick. But a lot more complicated than that. Seen some pretty cool tricks out there with that. And off, uh, fun little device. And now Daniela on to obstacle number two. Getting some swings going here. Catching on that flywheel. Is that one more swing? Got fourth place at WNL Worlds this season, 2022. Quick step off the ball, oh. go bounce, hold, and not able to save it. Nice try. Got a little twisted. Try to adjust. Oh, no. We're on the danger zone now. Needs to have a... Bigger push off of the bongo. She was more focused on the grab than the push off point. Ah, and you can see it just crumples. Those legs can buckle. Nice try. Almost managed to save off of that one grab. Oh man, she tried to go back to it. Nice yeah, try, Danielle. So close. Up now is going to be Chris Molnar. Trains out of Ninja Mania. Coming out of the Cheshire, Connecticut location. Got three dogs. Got a lot of doggos. Black Lab, Red Lab, and a white crusty dog, as he put it in his, <laughs> in his bio. I also have a Black Lab and a Red Lab. No crusty dog, though. No crusty dog, <laughs> but a crusty mean cat. Oh. <laughs> Chris Misunderstood, I guess. Yeah. Swinging his way through obstacle number two. 
It was a tester back for A&W Jr. Got some experience on those bigger obstacles. Nice move across the bongo bounce. Check the slide tech. Does he have it in hand? Nice grab on the rope. Chris moving through on to these agility steps. Wow, choosing to go down one side. Seen a lot of people decide to go that route seems to be the method. A lot more pressure into those steps going to the left there. Begins his climb up the spines. Really enjoys the hybrid style courses with a lot of different skill sets being put to the test here. Gets that dismount and will take a second to chalk up. Here's a good look at the cliffhangers. You can see not a lot of room there. Only about enough room for one hand. Going with that twist tech. Finding the rhythm. Little bit of a breather on that ledge there. There's a little more in cut for those fingers as well as this one. Nice save. And just a one-handed swing over to the pillar. And gets the clear. Got about a minute 15 remaining. Two obstacles to go. Two technical explosive obstacles. The wholesome Folsom here got to engage that latch. Starts to get the swing built up. Let's see what this has to do. Going for the skip. Almost gets it. Yeah, the skip seems to be the way to go. We've seen a lot more athletes have success going for that skip than trying to make the up move. Yeah, it's just two more times. It's just one extra time that you have to engage that clasp. Just another spot for a potential miss. May as well just go for one big move. Yeah, we'll have to see what Mr. Swanson, oh. our judge and our course designer, will decide to do for the finals if they change it at all, so they have to make the up move, but we shall see. Third and final attempt. Got about 10 seconds to make it happen. On, Chris, Close on his second attempt. Let's see if he can dial in for third. Oh, no, it was very close that whole time. Puts him into fourth right now, but we've got a lot more runners to go throughout the day. Nice try, Chris Molnar. Again, here's a really nice close look at it. There's the latch system that gets got the spring there. Pretty tough. This is what they're looking at here. you got to latch that bar. You can see when he pushes it to the bar. It's going to close. Johnny Keyes getting ready to go. Coming out of TA Fitness, Plymouth. Said he's just a 23-year-old boy, just wants to have fun. <laughs> Rocking those M&M pants. M &M Boys shorts. just want to have fun, you know, Strat. <laughs> Name that artist. Girls just want to have fun. Oh, my gosh. Not, I have no idea. <laughs> I know the song. Not the artist, but... Make his way through. Big bounce off the bongo. We'll skip on through. Gets that landing. Nice. <laughs> He's stoked. Like a sigh of relief. Big kip here. Ooh, not able to time it just right. We'll try to reset, get another, another go at it. Well, we've got Jeff Ryder in chat saying it's Cindy Lopier. Is it? I mean, he's going, he would know. Try number two. Gets his hands on the rope and not able to hold on. Get a lot of pop from the crowd here. Seems to be a crowd favorite. Well, with peanut M&M pants, how could you not be a crowd favorite? It's definitely my favorite candy. Third and final. Oh, hold on tight. Gets Let's it. go. He's hyped up. Gets the Let's crowd go. behind him. Shrugging his shoulders here at the lily pads. One, two, three. Oh. Gets he gets the, the thumbs, thumbs up. up. It's hard to tell from our angle, but those judges out there have got the eyes on the prize here. Big reaches. 
Skipping over for the steering wheels. Hold on tight. Boy, the crowd, I can hear them all the way back here in the commentating booth. Everybody's cheering on Mr. Johnny Keys. Yeah, crowd is absolutely hyped for this run right now. I absolutely love it. Well, he's staying locked off here at 90 degrees. Opening up a little bit here for building up the momentum for the twist. One, two. The crowd is absolutely losing it every time he clears an obstacle. This is the most electric run we've had in a while. <laughs> he's having fun out there. If he makes this catch strat, this place might just blow up. We got 20 seconds to do so. Let's go. Getting that swing built up. 10 seconds. Going to have one try at it. Big toss oh. in for the up move. And Johnny's going to be done on that one. But impressive stuff. Fun one to watch. Keep it up out there. What an absolute blast to watch. It's the crowd hype. Always fun when you get everybody hyped up out there. You see Lucas and the other athletes. Dude, they, that, was, that was so hype right there. Crowd is feeling it on that one. Hometown hero. <laughs> Not sure I've met Johnny in the past, but hats off, my friend. We got Ninja Nick all on the move. Nicholas on to second obstacle coming out of Obstacle Athletics. Swinging through obstacle number two. Trends alongside Mike Bell and Brian Martinez. Enjoys the hybrid style courses. Trying to figure out this swing tech here. Hips are just a little askew, but able to dial it in. Really want to keep those hips as straight as you can. That'll just prevent having to take those extra swings to straighten out for that next move, but dials it in, doesn't have to reset. Wants one more for safety to get on out of there. Nice job, Ninja Nick. Competed back in season 14, just this past season on American Ninja Warrior. Ooh, a little short on the bongo bounce. Going to have to reset I, that transition. Big in photography and videography and gets it on the second attempt. Nice work. Nice work there. Take a second to catch his breath. More of this slider. Oh, oh trampoline bounce is going to have to reset. Yeah, came up just a little short. I think he went out a little bit more than he went up. You really want to spot your landing on the trampoline and then make bring your eyes up. There it, it is. is. Uh, the kip timing, not easy to figure out. It's a little different than what we've done on American Ninja Warrior, the Big Dipper. So it arches you and kind of throws you up. A little higher up. This one, got to generate a lot more momentum yourself. On the throw. Yeah, that time I think he just went to throw just a little bit too late. He held on a little too long, got hung up. Yeah, nice try from Ninja Nick. And next up, we've got Mary Layton. Mary Layton, commentator ninja. He's been commentating for a while, various competitions. Also runs a YouTube channel where she likes to talk about various uh, news in the ninja world. Does a lot of work with other uh, ninja organizations like Neighborhood Ninjas. It's always out in the community. Got a lot of support here. It's competition. Mary on the move. Competed this season as well. American Ninja Warrior going for the next throw on the bar. A little short on the grab. Is going to reset. Yeah, we might hear from Mary a little bit later today. She might step back into the commentator booth for a little bit. 
Yeah, she says she can make impressions in almost any accent. So that'd be, that'd be a fun okay. one to hear. Yeah, that'd be a fun one to hear. We're going to put her to the test, I think. Well, try number two here for Mary. Nice. Onto the bar. Short here last time. Looks like she's shimmying over. Perhaps a different approach here, building up momentum. It's a little shy on the second attempt. We get one more, one more try. Third and final attempt. She's going to take a little rest here. Outside of Ninjas, he's a production supervisor. Always, uh, he's got a passion for good leadership. The art and coffee. Let's see if she can. Get this third and final attempt. Taking a little more rest here. Yeah, really wants to give herself the best chance to get through this obstacle. She needs a little bit more on the backswing. Third and final attempt. And just the grip gives out. <laughs> Adds up pretty quick there, but nice try from Mary. Commentator Ninja. Try to hear from her later on. Justin going to be our next competitor. Two clears to this point. We haven't seen, we've only seen two people past the wholesome Folsom. Oof, yeah, Folsom, it's a tough one, man. The Folsom Rings of Power. Mm, that's it. <laughs> I think it's going to be getting a Rotten Tomato score along the same lines as Ring of Power. <laughs> Some of these athletes might uh, not be wait. too happy. But Justin on the move. Wait, Strat, don't tell me Rings of Power got a bad Rotten Tomato score. <laughs> Did it? I'm not sure. Oh, no. I'll we'll have to check. Uh, no spoilers. <laughs> How dare you? Justin coming out of the Ninja Mania in Danbury, Connecticut. Goes by the Raider Ninja. Through the swing lane here. Just about to turn 14. Ooh, really committed to the bongo bounce, but didn't get a strong push off of that platform. Yeah, because the bongo bounce is at such an angle, you really want to make sure you run really hard into it. You want to put a lot of pressure into it so that you get some good purchase. Uh, he needs a little more, a little more speed. And wants to step off of that start platform before attacking that, attacking that bounce. And you can start with a run up. You don't have to start on the starting platform. You can start from the ground, get it, get a lot of speed into it. Big bounce that time and hold. It gets to clear. Nice job, Justin. Much, much better on that one. Here's the arch. Ah, oh, but mistimed the kip. He's been to the. WNL Finals ever since 2019, every year since then. Been consistent, making it to the later stages of various leagues. Come on, Justin, let's go. Let's see if we can find the timing just right here, a little better on that one. Needs a little bit more speed. Bigger launch to get to that rope grab. Third and final attempt here coming for Justin. Uh, just the timing is off just a little bit again for that third and final attempt, but great try from yeah, the Ninja try, Raider. Man. We got Tim in chat saying that Rings of Power got an 85% average, but a 35% audience score. Woof. I'm appalled. Woof. Well, that's, uh, that's those Hollywood critics for you. I loved it. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. Rings of Power, I know you're watching this, so if you'd like to sponsor Amazon, if you'd like to sponsor Ninja Sport Championship, any of our streams, we're open. Our phones are always on. So oh, Jeff, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> slide us some money here. Obviously, he's watching, so we'll see if he, uh, if he gives us a call. All right, Isaac Sullivan getting ready to go right now. Coming out of the Warrior Factory in Buffalo and trains out of his basement. Worked with this young man a handful of times out of motive at South Carolina when they come on through for a little vacation to get some training experience. Various gyms. Isaac making short work of the first two obstacles. 
Bongo bounce. No problem. Nice power through. And going straight into the slider. This man is cruising through. <laughs> Ooh, too fast on the transfer. Going to have to adjust. Big into Rocket League when he's not training Ninja. Comes the slide. Big back pull and dials it in that time. Just looking for a goal to finish here. Try to make up for some lost time from that slider. Working our way down the spines. Training, competing at the elite divisions now with the WNL. About to be 17 years old in just a few months. Man, look at him matching. There's there's so Not little to actually grab here. He wow. Just, yeah, great grip confidence. Good wingspan there to be able to static and latch onto that pillar. Pretty quick to this point. Now, let's see if you can figure out this ring here. Going to go ahead and get it into that resting position. Not opting to feel that clasp. See what he decides to do here. Wants to go up or are we going for a big throw, big kick back. Ooh, needs a little bit more forward push with that ring. Yeah, he's going for the big move here. Really been interesting to see. A lot of the athletes opting for the big move, not going for the up move, locking it into the top bar. Yeah, that up move it just bounces around so much. I think it's it's going to be tough to really dial in that move. Oh, going forwards with it. Just have another shot at it. Don't get too frustrated. He's looked pretty good so far. Come on, you got to stay focused. You got to stay locked in here for this last attempt. He's got some time. He's been close. Oh, he's going both hands facing forwards here. Hold. Gets Locks the it in. Let's go. And gets the clear. And just goes directly into the salmon slider. And oh, that's all right. That's going to cost him a little bit. Time. Yeah, it's going to have to wait it out. He's put himself into third place here. He's going to have time to finish this, but he's going to have to move. Ten seconds only. And have to one see attempt. Him. Not going to get it. Uh, salmon yeah, ladder not bar. Do it. Yeah, nice try, Isaac. That gets him into third place, though. It looks like we do have Sam Folsom in chat. Sam, if, if you are still listening, what's your beta here? Do you think they do you approve the skip? Do you think they should be going for the up move on this crazy ring obstacle that you have designed? Let us know in chat. Let everybody in chat know what you would do. And do you think Ethan should force the move in the finals? What is your take if you're still listening in chat? Would love to hear it. And thank you for building this obstacle. <laughs> Yeah, give us a uh, give us an official name if you got one. Also, yeah, Strat would like this obstacle to have a name so well. that he can forget to say it <laughs> and call it the wrong name over and over again. That seems to be a trend. <laughs> but all right, here we go. Next athlete, John. John's up. Sapienza, getting ready to go. Coming out of the New York Ninja Academy. For his upper body obstacles, said he's not the best at balance. He's going to be put to the test here. He is definitely going to be put to the test here. Well, it depends. He, if he's not good at slow balance, I think he's in a good spot here. Quick agility balance. Yeah. balance, this is a pretty tough, two pretty tough agility balance obstacles. He transitions through and looking for the dismount. John gets a clear. We go on bongo bounce. Nice. No speed up. One balance done. Keeping that hollow back and not quite able to get there. You want to make it a quick transition with that hollow out move. You don't want to. Oh, 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 oh. Reset timer is going to be okay. These positions are going to reset here and be good to go. And not going to get it on the second attempt. That's all right. Ethan Swanson's down there on the floor. He's got the official time. He's going to account for that. That missed reset there. Third and final attempt here going right away. And the hollow out and not quite able to get that rope grab. 
Really want to force that hollow out move right around the middle of that slide and then start your kick going forwards as it taps in into that track. Coming up now is going to be Nikki Perella. Trains out of the Gravity Forge. Former gymnast and diver. Had to overcome a lot of different injuries to get where she is now. We'll see how she does out on the course. And here we go. Rilla on the move. She's not training ninja and competing. Likes to help others mentally and physically to try to become stronger and overcome their injuries as well. Seventh runner on the women's side of things. So Lachey's thus far. <laughs> oh no, I think. That transition. A little tough to make. Yeah, I think she kind of second-guessed herself. She wanted to go for the reach. It looked like she just hesitated like midway through the reach instead of just going full commitment there. Yeah, with those swinging-type obstacles, I believe it's another wing nut up there they have to grab onto. They don't quite commit the whole way. Pretty tough. Here we go, Nikki. I'll try number two. Grabbing onto the bar. Bigger throw this time. One, two. Grabbing onto that wing nut. Just needs to get to the flywheel. And the bar to dismount. So almost out of danger zone here. Working her way through as best as she can. A quick match. Handles the drop. And the throw back to the next bar is a little... Tough to make after a few tries. I'm trying to shake out a bit. I'm trying to recover some of that energy. Yeah, every extra backswing here, every extra move, definitely a little more taxing. I'm going to try to get through this efficiently. Well, third and final attempt here. Taking some extra rest. So we got a little more energy built up. She's getting farther and farther each attempt here. And just out of out of reach on that throw across. Tough break for Nikki Perella. Well, Strat, I've got good news for you. Sam got back to us, and there is a name for the obstacle. He his original idea was the Pac-Man. The Pac-Man. Ah, I like Love it. it. I like it. Love it. We will promise we'll try to call it the Pac-Man Pac from now on. Pack attack. Pac-Man. He's definitely, Strat, Strat's definitely going to call it the Pac-Man. <laughs> Maybe and once probably or twice. something else, yeah. <laughs> I like to mix it up. I like to keep people on their toes. Oh, man. The Pac-Man. It is interesting. Sam does think they should mandate the up move in finals, but he said he would go for the skip in the open round. All right, Xavier on the move right now. X going to give it to you on the move. Swinging through. See where he decides to go. What route he decides to take. Linking those throws. Nice job. Trying to make his way across the slider now. Going quick here. Hard to keep up with. The X making it quick. Oh, big leap across. Don't know. He's good. No. Didn't get it. Said he yep, must have bottomed out somewhere. X is going to try again on these tricky steps. One, two, and gets it on the second attempt. See him training and coaching a lot out of the uh, Fair Ox gym up in New York. And he's got a lot of power. I mean, he just made that, that big move look like it was nothing. Yep, competing on a and as well. Got some experience. 
trying to keep trying to keep the rest of these obstacles out of any mistakes. Work his way up this leaderboard. Going to go with that twist tech. Let's see what we can do here for that last move and nice crossover. Pillar is in play. Before he makes his way over to the Pac Man. Over the Pac Man, we've seen three people get it so far. Two ways to do it. I want to grab some of those power pellets before trying out the Pac Man here. We'll chase off those ghosts. We're going up and across. First move. Oof, not able to get it. This is going to be really interesting. Uh, you know, we've seen with, with Brett Sims making the batarangs, a bunch of people putting in orders for those. It's going to be interesting to see if or a lot of people are reaching out to Sam Folsom about getting their hands on a pair of one of these rings here. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot more moving parts in Ninja nowadays. Here we go X. Try number two. Well, Strat, that's an understatement because my first season of American Ninja Warrior, one of my obstacles was a trampoline jump to a cargo net. So. Ah, the old jump hang. <laughs> oh, man. Classic. To say that there's a lot more moving parts now is certainly an understatement. Third and final attempt here for X. Oh, wow. he was in. Had the distance every time, just not quite able to fully get the Pac-Man to close shut on that last Let's hold. Let's see if we can go to the replay here. It was close. Needed a little more forward pressure there. It was pretty close there. Blake Mason getting ready to go. Coming from center court, Lawrence. Lives in New Jersey. But attends a boarding school in order to be closer to Ninja. Trains rock climbing. Big into the Lachey sky hooks and all sorts of agility. So he's got pretty much every obstacle he likes here on this course. Monkey bar his way through, but he can. Save some of that power for later. Nice job, Blake. Hopes to own the rock climbing gym one day. Big power through the bongo. Able to keep those feet up and move through. Nice quick little back kip. Didn't take much of an arch there. Had the timing dialed in. Here comes the lily pads. Oh, yeah, you can see trying to go split on both sides. Tough to be able to generate that power. After that reset time. And nice. nice able to dial it in that time. Yeah, much better. Use some of that rock climbing strength here to power up these spine holds. Match on a few steering wheels, but look for that dismount. Nice job, Blake. He's made it to the WNL finals every year that he's competed. Got third place at the gauntlet. Nice. When he competed on that, that is challenging. Of course, yeah, that's really impressive. Put on by the World Ninja League as well. Really challenging course, and also it's head to head, so puts yeah. a lot more pressure on it. And when you got to race somebody right next to you, it definitely makes it a little more challenging and making its way through this cliffhanger. Rock climbing experience. Put on display by Mr. Mason. Here we go with the Pac Man. For the high score on Pac Man here. The swing built up, see where he decides to go. Going for the skip. Ooh, a little low. He's going to need a little bit more height on that toss across. Yeah, you certainly, you want to get your hips up, give yourself enough time to jam the ring in and let the latch open and close. It's on a spring, so it does close pretty fast. But it still needs enough space and time to to make that connection. Here we go. Blake, try number two. 
Ooh, not quite there. He's going to try one more. He's got the time. Never big on the original Pac-Man. What? Pac-Man Pac DX, that 360 one. It's more my style, but here we go. Third and final attempt, and just shy, Sorry. Mr. Mason. My dentist actually had, like, a Pac-Man cabinet at, <laughs> at the office, and oh, wow. so although I hate the dentist, it made it slightly better. Just get the chance to play Pac-Man before your uh, cavity gets filled. Yeah, the reboot they did for the Pac-Man game on the 360, that was a fun version. It was yeah. A little more, uh, a little more updated visual style. Oh, sorry, Strat. If the 1980 <laughs> Pac-Man wasn't wasn't updated enough for you, <laughs> it was okay. I mean, that was okay. I was more of into I was more into Galaga. If you're in chat, let us know what year Pac-Man came out. I was more into Galaga back in the day. <laughs> Galaga, Space Invaders, Asteroids, most uh, space shooters. Pac-Man, I got destroyed. And enough of the video game talk here. Mr. McGrath, James McGrath, getting ready what to go. One of the legends of the sport, James McGrath, the beast, long-time American Ninja Warrior competitor. Started way back in season two of A&W. Seen some good success. Competed back when they did the Ninja Challenge, and you guys all stayed at the house. Oh, and did boot competitions camp. together. He was on your team at boot camp. At Red Dragons boot camp days. Shout out Red Dragons. <laughs> it's a deep cut, deep, deep <laughs> cut. McGrath trying to make his way through here. Me and him both have been dealing with a lot of shoulder issues over the course of our ninja careers. James been looking strong ever since coming back after those repeat surgeries. Oh, mistimed on the arch. We'll try to fix it here. And he's trying to fight the slide, but this is going to be so hard to save, though. Oh! Yo, Let's go! Let's deep. go! No retry for this guy. <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. Nice job, James. Come on. Quick feet. Yes, sir. Good accuracy. Moving on now. No misses as of yet. I honestly did not know if that was even possible to be saved. Well, that was a great tech to be able to figure out how to get that bar back up to the track and then time out that move. Going with that sideways approach here on the spines. Come on, Mr. McGrath. Here we go. Taking a very methodical approach to the course right now. Minute and 30 seconds. James been training alongside some of the Vitality crew. Best James McGrath story, Strat, go. I don't you guys know have spent a lot of time together. <laughs> I know, I ain't going to put him on the spot. <laughs> We got lots of stories. This man's a hilarious dude to hang around. Strong move on the cliffhanger. We made it to the cliffhanger back in season three, all the way in Sasuke in Japan. Got a little further than I did back in the back in that Ooh. day. Oof, a little wobbly up there, but that's all right. Here we go. He's gonna check out the clasp, see how it feels. And sure back it's to the Pac-Man. Feel it out here. He's gonna be short on time. He's gonna have about 30 seconds by the time he starts. Feeling out both of them, seeing which one's got a little bit more resistance. <laughs> and shout out, thank you, Claire Gardolski. May 22nd, 1980 is when Pac-Man came out. I was right. All right, well, here he goes, <laughs> Mr. McGrath on the pack attack. Pac-Man swinging through. Went for more of a up move. He's about to try again. Yeah, I think he's trying to, to really force that ring to go up into it. Pushing forwards like that. Five seconds. One more throw. And Ugh. just a little shy. And great run, though. Is able to save it off of the slider, which gets him into sixth place currently. Yeah, shout out to James, especially for this right here. Yeah, Takes great save. Big old backswing. Crazy oh. save right here. So impressive. Yeah, great job, Mr. McGrath. I'll chat with him later, see what stories he uh, he'll, he'll <laughs> let me share on uh, on the live here. <laughs> I've got a bunch. We got some funny ones from the boot camp days in the A and W boot camp season three. That was uh, 
Those are some fun times. Alex Moulter on the course right now. Runs track, big in the ninja. Trains out of Obstacle Athletics. Oh, making quick work of Obstacle number one. Trying to get our camera work back into the swing of things. There it is. Alex on to Obstacle number two. Runs track and plays volleyball when he's not competing with ninja stuff. Nice little tic-tac off of the bongo bounce. Sliding on down. And short on the throw. Going to have to reset on the slider. He's got second place in the FINA League in 2020. Comes try number two on the slider. Arches back. Gets, his, uh, gets the rope that time. Ooh, trying to skip that uh, last step. Starting to see a lot of people go with that. One, two on the steps to try to hit that lily pad again at, at the end there. One, two, and ah, not fully on. One more attempt. Can't wait for the retry time to run down, and here he goes, third and final try. And just short changed that first step on the the lily pad. Tough break for Alex. We're working our way towards final final couple of runners, I believe. We're, we're around 70-ish runners. So trying to split it in half in these two different waves here. Ryan Harsha. Getting ready to go. Trains here at the Stanford Ninja Academy. 14 years old. In the, he's uh, rocking the drums, guitar, and ninja courses. It's all about. We've seen Ryan compete before. I can't put my finger on it. If it was Bucket of Chalk or we've seen him before. Yeah, he's... My memory is fading me right now, but... He's a younger athlete, only 14 right now, so... Working his way into these competitions. Trying to compete at the elite level. This is certainly going to be a tough obstacle. He's a little bit lighter. And so being able to generate enough force into the bongo bounce... It's going to be tough. He's going to want a lot of speed here. Smart. Signs to take a reset here on the approach. He's going to want a lot yes. of speed. He's hitting a little low. You want to make sure you're a little higher on that bongo to really get a good bounce. The other thing, if you get higher up on the bongo, ooh, feet up. Never mind. Good to go. <laughs> Save that for for later. Oh, we've lost a little bit, but now he's moving on. Oh, a little shy on the grab. He's going to reset. Had it in hand. Just needs to make sure we dial it in here. Said the best is yet to come for him in his ninja accomplishments. Young athlete, go getter. There's a lot of power here for the throw. Had a little bit of a misplaced hand there. He grabbed onto the magnet in the middle and he readjusted on the way down that kind of messed up his his arch on the throw he's going to have to try again third and final attempt big bounce and just shy of the throw nice try Ryan Harsha this course is set at an elite level the younger athletes are going to have a little more challenge when it comes to some of the throws yeah, just the height, a little bit of a shorter competitor. It's tough, tough when you have to be able to generate a lot of speed coming down that track, have enough momentum to be able to get to that rope and have time to engage those biceps and back muscles to hold on tight. Our cameraman, Hunter, giving us a good look at that rope right there. Shout out to our crew here today, Hunter Gerard, Ethan Swanson. Ace and Pritchard getting ready to go. 
We were emailing ASIN back and forth last night up until like midnight or later. Had a little bit of trouble with the registration. Made sure that he we could get him in today. And rocking the DBZ shirt. Yeah, rocking. Rocking the DBZ gear. A better look at the cohort on that shirt. Not too sure which one that is. I'll get a better look at it in a second to see if I can tap into my <laughs> my anime knowledge. <laughs> Mr. Pritchard swinging through flywheels. And twisting around for the bongo bounce. Going to go one straight into that hold. Rocking the slide down here. Quick little back kip and plenty of momentum to get to the rope. One, two, and oof! Coming down a little hard on the tailbone, trying to get forward momentum to clear it. Put his body on the line. Reset, try again. Can't put too much weight. That's the tricky part to these tipping steps. See, they don't stay on very easily. Quick, one, two, three, and secures the point that time. Staying alive. Big pulls going up. And we work our way down. Gets through the spine climb. About a minute and a half to go. Going for the twist tech here. Trying to find the rhythm. It's going to be a little tricky on the sideways reverse. Transfer might go for a cross. Nope, got plenty of room there. Got the forearm strength. And gets the dismount. Heading on to the Pac-Man. Courtesy of Mr. Folsom. Grabbing a little bit of that bucket of chalk. Or the extra grip. We'll test out that clasp, see how it functions. Gets that swing going. 35 seconds here. Going for the, for the big, big move. Ooh, trying to go for the out and around, gonna run on back. Just gotta wait for that reset time. Come down to the wire. <laughs> this is an absolutely brutal obstacle strat. It's a tough one. A lot of power and technique involved with this one. Big backswing going for the twist and gets the clasp on that try. Got to get the dismount before the time runs out. Oh, oh. No. Went to adjust and it's sandwiched in there. I think he got the... No, he did not get the full clear. I think he just ran out of time. And they're going to check the... Check that apparatus, see if it's okay, but it looked like it went for a... Got stuck in between that gap in the middle there. Luckily, they've got a couple of spares off to the side, I believe. Take a chance to uh, check it out, make sure it's A-OK. -okay. Well, Sam, if you're still here, if you're still in chat, make sure you get to UPS stat. <laughs> we need... You know, an immediate uh, shipment. One day shipping. <laughs> Amazon Prime that thing over here. Yeah, we need an Amazon same day delivery. And next up, it's going to be Avery Glantz, American Ninja Warrior veteran. One of the teenagers invited in the first season, I believe. Yep, season 13 and 14, and also on a &W Junior, too. Avery, got about four years of experience. Outside of Ninja, likes to play the guitar and sings. Trains out of the center court Ninja location. Yeah. Swinging our way through onto the Lachey Lane.
Links that Lachey over to that wing nut, getting those hand positions transitioned over. Trying to stay smooth with all those throws and gets the link dismount to get through. Lachey laying on to the bongo bounce. Got to commit to the push and latch on to that hold. Nice job, Avery. Oh, and the knees buckle off of the drop down. Yes. Tough break on the bounce. That's something that's easy to do. Just got to commit to the bounce, and there it is. Kip back. She's got the throw. Nice work. Excellent job. Gonna Puts take her a... in first place at the moment. Cruising through here, but wants to pad that position a little bit more. Tries to go for a one, two, three, a slow approach. Reset. Stanford team resetting things. Try number two. Ah, uh, you can see she just came up a little short on her left foot there. One more try. She's got plenty of time here. Wants to. Yeah, try not to get too frustrated just yet. Third and final try. One, two, three. Coming down a little hard on the third attempt there. Those lily pads aren't forgiving. The key is really to make sure you're not pushing forward or back on those uh, on those dominoes, and you're really pushing into the step. Get your foot right on top, push right into the step, and uh, that's what's going to help you get through there. She got quickly to that point. It's going to put her up that leaderboard a bit for the time being. That is a real finicky agility obstacle. And that is actually going to do it for wave one here, Strat. That's going to be our last competitor. And uh, the story of the day so far, certainly, on the men's side at oh, least, pack certainly attack. the uh, Pac-Man, the Sam Folsom devious invention here. And uh, that's going to do it for wave one. Well, awesome job to all our first wave competitors. We'll be taking a breather, I believe, and we'll be coming back in a bit. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us into the chat. And we'll be looking forward to our second wave of runners after a brief break to find out who those top 10 athletes will be. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And here's a look at the men's leaderboard pre presented by Silent Ninja, Colton Supa, James Burns, and Isaac. The only three to get through the Pac-Man in wave one of our 30-something competitors. Here's your top 20. If you'd like the full leaderboard, go check out our website, Ninja Sport Network. There's a link at the top that has the run order and leaderboard, and then you can filter down to this competition. But there's your look at the men's side of things. And now pulling things up for the women, it's going to be Avery Glantz with that run that we just saw puts her in first place, followed by Akshara and Mackenzie Pavlik, our, our top three at the moment. Plenty of athletes left. We'll be back for Wave 2 later on this afternoon. We'll be starting in about an hour or so. So make sure you guys go get some lunch and check back in with us. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Here at Role Model Software, we value our partnerships with our clients. Listen as Dr. Eric Freeman talks about out. our partnership sure with Cultivate enough. Leadership Institute. CLI was trying to find which software company we want to partner with. We talked with a number of different ones, but the thing that made Role Model stand out was the connection that we had with them. So if you're trying to figure out how do I select the right company for us, you need to make sure that you don't just do that digitally. It's not just an email. It's not just a Zoom call. You need to make sure that you get face-to-face -to -face with these individuals to make sure that your mission and your vision align so that you're creating the product that you want to create. And Role Model has the ability to do that. They are very personal, they care about your product, they care about you personally, and they want to help deliver the product that you need. If you're curious if Role Model could be the right fit to partner with you, reach out to us today. We'd love to talk to you. Ninja Sport Championship is brought to you by Role Model Software. They craft custom software tailored to fit your business needs, and they're also the makers of Ninja Master and Lightning CAD. Silent Ninja, check out their website for exclusive ninja holds and ninja training equipment. Celebra Family Restaurants, supporters of the Ronald McDonald House, helping families and children in need consider donating today. Biaggi Bros, a full service logistics company with 3PL and supply chain solutions with warehouses and truck terminals scattered across the US. 
League of Ninja Warriors, check out their website for exclusive ninja collectibles. Ocean Needs Everyone, the nonprofit organization dedicated to helping save our oceans. And Bucket of Chalk, our official chalk sponsor. Reach into the bucket and grab some chalk today. Have you ever experienced extremely sweaty hands? Not knowing where to step on agility? Being unlucky on special delivery? Or being absolute trash at Double Dipper? Then Bucket of Chalk Chalk is the right chalk for you. Side effects may include extremely grippy hands even after washing them. Always know where to step on agility. Adds a bit of extra luck on special deliveries. Where? in a way that I could take my experiences and translate them to the real world. And I could see the results. And I could see people using the software and the utility and the value that it provides. If the Craftsmanship Academy sounds like a fit, I'd encourage you to reach out. a day and we'd love to talk to you.